Not sure what everything is all about in that layers panel? Well, this video might help you. Hello everybody who likes to use Cricut Design Space and if you're a newbie and you're trying to figure out what some of this stuff is, I hope I can help you. Today I'm going to talk about the layers panel and what exactly that means. Maybe a little bit of a puzzle to you if you say, I don't understand why something won't work. A lot of times if you look at the layers panel that'll help out. So right now I have this little flower bouquet design that I picked and if I look at my layers panel over here on the right you can see that it's a basic cut and but it shows every different color on this little uh, bouquet and it's a, and it's a basic cut for each piece on here so you you can actually change this operation or function or whatever you want to call it if you want to to something different but before I go into that uh, let me just start up at the top and kind of explain a couple things in case you haven't figured it out you have group and ungroup as part of the layers panel so right now and I hope this makes sense to you this flower bouquet group it this flower is grouped because the only thing I can do with it at this point is ungroup it. So if you're not sure if something is grouped or ungrouped, have a look at your layers panel. And if this says ungroup, that means this is grouped. So what does group mean? Well, it just means you're selecting, and you can do this yourself. You can select several items or images and put them together, but now you can move them around on your um, design space canvas or you can make them bigger and smaller, and they're gonna stay the same size. They're gonna stay in proportion with the rest of it. So that's kind of why you wanna group things or you're trying to work on something and you just wanna get it out of the way. Um, if I ungroup it, then I can start moving things away if I want to. So let's undo that. I personally like to keep my items grouped until, I don't have some grouped. <laughs> okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So now you can kind of see this, this looks a little different, but it still works. You also have the ability to duplicate any of your items that you've selected, or you can delete them here. So the other thing that's helpful on here is that, as, a, as I said before, it tells you what the operation is of each layer on here. But if I wanted to change that, I can, and I can, I can select, just select this. And this is kind of this gray part right here. And I can change this. And, and just thing to let you know is I do have the makers selected. So I have a lot of different operations I can choose from. If I really wanted to change it to perforate, I'm not quite sure why I would, I can do that. So I can come over here and now look at my layers panel and it's gonna tell me that I do have basic cut, so on, and I have perforate. So I'm gonna undo that, select this. Now, if I want to perforate more than one item, I can click on this one, and then I'm gonna hit my shift key on my computer, and I'm gonna select this. So I've got these two items selected. I can go up here, and I can select perforate, and now both the little gray background and these flower petals are selected to be perforate. So when you go to make it, you're going to have two different functions or operations. You're going to have basic cut and perforate. So I really don't want to perforate, but you can, and again, let me select these and I want to group them. Um, another kind of fun thing about the layers panel is you've got this little white square down here that says blank canvas. And when you click on that, you do have this little uh, color box that pops open and you can click on this and you can change the background of your design canvas. So maybe you wanted to put, cut this cute little flower display out and put it on a piece of yellow paper. You can see how it looks. Um, I personally, preferred just to have the white uh, background, but it is something that's available if you need it. So now one of the other things I do, I want to explain, which is really great, is this little eyeball over here. So what this does is, I'm going to click on that, it removes 
a part of your design. It's still there. All you have to do is click your eyeball and bring it back and you've got it. But it comes in handy if you have a lot of different images put on your screen and you're just trying to kind of rearrange one, you can click your eyeball. In fact, you can click the eyeball up here and the whole group goes away. Um, one other thing I want to show you is if you right click on any one of these, you're going to have also a couple of other functions you can do right from your um, layers panel. This gives you the Cricut assigned number. And if you want to remember this, besides you can, and because now you forgot where your image is, you forgot to save it, you forgot to put it as a, a liked you can copy this down and you do have to put it in exactly like this with capital letters. It will find this image for you. You can do a search, I'm sorry, in images and you'll find this. This says view image sets, but it's not working. Image sets are just kind of a fancy name for cartridges, which is how you used to design with design space. They're called image sets, but if you click on it, it just takes you back to all the images that you're available, not the actual image set. So I think that's something that's not working because it's actually kind of fun when you can link up to the image sets or the cartridge that might go along with this. So now I just wanna show you another thing. I am going to, I've taken this as a print then cut and I'm gonna make you go away right now. This is, uh, Again, this over here tells me it's a print then cut. I'm going to go ahead and you can click that little button and that kind of reduces everything down. They're still there. You just click on it and they come back. But I want to show you a little bit about print then cut. If you want to change that operation, you can here, if you just click on basic cut, you just get this kind of black thing. So now that may not be what you really want to do. So let's go back to print then cut. Um, and sometimes it doesn't always work. So you have to go back to your, um, you just have to use your undo button. But another thing you may find, let's just do that, on your print then cut is you're going to get, you may go to make it and let's see what happens here. Yeah, you're gonna get, you get this project incompatible and you're like, oh my gosh, what did I do? Is, is I, did I mess up? No. 99 times out of 100 when you get that, it's because your image is too big for what you have, um, what you're trying to do. Uh, for instance, you are limited in size to cut if you use a 12 by 12 mat by 11 and a half by 11 and a half inches, or if you use a 24 inch mat, you're still limited in size to an 11 and a half by 23 and a half inch um, item that you're cutting out. But print and cut limits you to even a smaller space. So you get a little yellow um, warning triangle. And if you just click on it, it's going to tell you exactly what the problem is, is why it can't work. And so again, it's image is too large. So if we just make this guy a little smaller, it goes away. So I'm hoping this helps you with with what the layers panel can do for you. I really do find it very helpful because sometimes when I try to do a slice, which I will put a link down to my video on exactly what slice is, you can only slice two layers. And sometimes you might have an extra little score layer in there that's, that you're not abundantly aware of when you look at your design, but your layers panel can tell you exactly what operations or functions are available for that image you've selected. If you do a lot of designing on your iPhone, your layers panel is still there. So let me show you where it is. It's down here on the bottom of the screen and it's right there. So when you hit your layers panel, you'll note too that the layers down here is green and it will stay that way until you, put, you um, click on it and make it go away. So you have your different layers here, which up here, which all say cut, and you can get your information. You can, sorry, I keep forgetting, here we go. You can get your information by clicking on your little information button. And you can, if you click on this and click on this again, you have your little eyeball down at the bottom that will remove the layer, this particular layer. 
and let's put that little thing back. And then when you're tired of looking at your layers, you just click on the green uh, icon on the bottom that says layers. So that's how you use the layers screen on your iPhone and iPad. This is an iPad, the iPhone works the same way. So I hope this helps you. Thanks again for watching and uh, leave me any comments if you want. Thanks.